It's so pretty. channel my name is crystal and for the past six weeks my husband and i have been doing a complete laundry room makeover from floor to ceiling for the one room challenge that is on instagram it's with better homes and gardens and it has been such a fun month of this project but it's coming to an end and one of the last things i needed to do was this wallpaper wall behind my washer and dryer and I am so happy to share this video with you because if you are looking for wallpaper, looking how to install it, anything like that, this is where you need to be. I definitely wanted a wallpaper for this wall. When I was kind of designing my mood board and everything, I knew I needed something fun to look at while I'm doing laundry. And we did board and batten walls on all the other walls in here, so it's white really clean looking so I really wanted like some color brought into this room we also did like a very light blue cabinet so I knew I needed some sort of blue in the wallpaper to help bring that color out but I also wanted it to be very feminine in here and girly and fun and laundry rooms are the perfect place to have some fun with your design make it bright make it fun make it a place that you actually want to be in and that's what I really wanted to do my biggest goal with this room was to make it a happy place which it's a laundry room. Those usually aren't like happy places, let's be honest. So I really wanted this to be a bright, colorful room that still felt grown up. And I think I achieved it. And the wall blush wallpaper truly made that happen. So I'm gonna show you guys how I installed this by myself. <laughs> They all come labeled, so panel one, panel two, and panel three, so you know exactly which piece goes on first and second and last. Things that you'll need is gonna be some sort of scraper. It comes with this one. I have this one for my Cricut. You're gonna need an X-Acto knife, and then your wallpaper. Before applying the wallpaper, you do need to take a damp cloth and completely wipe down your wall. You wanna make sure it's free of dust and lint, Guys, it's so pretty. The blue in it matches my cabinets perfectly. To start the installation, you do want to peel back a few inches of the backing, and then you will put about an inch and a half on your ceiling. So that way you can account for any crookedness in your walls as you go down. If your walls are super crooked, you might want to account for a little more on this first panel than just an inch and a half. And then you also will put a little bit on the wall next to it, also to account for any crookedness as you go down the wall. And then you just grab your scraper and you'll want to start going down in the middle and then go to the sides. I wanted to show you here that if you do get crazy bubbling like I did, you can unpeel it and restick it. Obviously, you don't want to do this too many times, so try to get it right, but I definitely had to do this on a few of the panels.
once you're finished, you will take your X-Acto knife and trim off the excess from the top and the sides. And you will want to do this before applying the next panel. If you get any air bubbles that won't come out with the scraper, take your knife and poke a little hole in it and then you can scrape out the air. I definitely did struggle with this second panel. You do overlap it about an inch to half an inch on the previous panel you did. And that is so you get the print matched up perfectly, which I like this design that they do. But for someone that's never done this and not having help, it definitely was hard. Obviously, I was still able to do it and I would do this again. So it wasn't that bad, but I was definitely sweating here. <laughs> I think it definitely would have been helpful to have someone hold up that top right corner as I was trying to match up the seam. So if you have help, definitely take it. Once I did get it lined up, this panel went on so well. This was honestly the easiest one to do once I got it stuck up there. working around outlets or in my case this washer dryer hookup area I found it easier to kind of put it over and then cut around it and then get it stuck if that makes sense When you are working on your last panel, if you have a lot of excess, like you can see going on that cabinet over there, make sure you trim that off beforehand. Obviously leave yourself extra on both sides, but you do not want to have to deal with like a foot of extra wallpaper. That's what I was doing. So I did end up taking it off and trimming it and it made it so much easier. It's been about two weeks since I did the wallpaper and I want to give you kind of an update on how it's lasted, if anything has changed with it, like bubbling, peeling, anything like that, and kind of go over my honest thoughts on the process and all that fun stuff. So first thing is 
it didn't fall off, which I was kind of concerned with. There's been no bubbling, no peeling, nothing. It's just perfect. It looks beautiful. And I am honestly so happy with the decision I made to go with this wall blush wallpaper. It really just added a fun, colorful pop in this laundry room. And I really think if you are doing a space in your home that you need something kind of fun and different, wallpaper is like the easiest upgrade I think you can do. I was definitely nervous going into this because I've never done wallpaper and I'm not really good honestly with like super precise things. It just always like ends up not working out I feel like and this turned out better than I could have imagined. I really want to show you guys some honest things with this because if you're going to do this yourself I really want you to be prepared so for the laundry room we have our hookup area and as I was going down I did have to like lay it out and then cut with a razor blade around this as I was going obviously I'm not expecting this to really stay you can see it's like on plastic so it's not really staying the best but I figured I'll just leave this until it really does fall off because at least it kind of camouflages this thing better. Otherwise, it's just like an ugly plastic. The other thing I want to show you is my seams are not 100% on this side. Um, you can see that there's a little bit of a tiny, tiny bit that didn't match up completely with the print. It's, I mean, from far away, you cannot tell. You'll see that one pink flower forever, you know, and then as you go up the wall, it looks fine to me. You can't really tell. But yeah, up close, you're gonna see a little bit of seam. Even on this side, which I got really, really, really good on the pattern, you're still gonna see a little bit of seam, so remember, they overlap. You overlap the um, it was like this panel goes on first and then this one goes over a little bit. So you're still going to see a little bit of seam, but obviously from far away, like I have to really look for the seams. The other thing, which it just, it's not going to pick up on camera. And honestly, I can't really even tell anymore. I wonder if they went away. This panel, this is the first one I did. I honestly almost cried during this panel because it was so bubbly. I just couldn't get this half of it to go on well. This side went on perfectly. This side had bubbles everywhere. So I did like take a little knife and pop them, but I just couldn't get it to smooth out. But over two weeks, I honestly feel like they've kind of gone away. I seriously cannot find a bubble. So I'm curious if that is a thing. And the other thing is I hate to admit this and show this on film because it'll always be there, but I did get one little wrinkle, but it's okay. Those things happen. I just could not fix it. I messed around with the panel too many times and I didn't want to compromise it. From far away, you can't even tell. Now you can. Sorry to ruin that for you. I don't even notice it, to be honest. The other thing is make sure you measure and cut excess. If you have more than just a couple inches of excess on your last panel, if it's going up against like a corner, a wall, a cabinet, something, cut it before you try to install it. I tried to install this last panel without cutting it and it was a nightmare. I could not get it to stick to the ceiling. It 
wouldn't stick to this either and like the corner I couldn't get the stuff in there so cut it and then install it so make sure you measure make sure you're giving yourself the amount to overlap so like a good inch and a half two inches extra for this side and also make sure you're giving yourself some extra on the corner area I hope that makes sense but those are my biggest tips definitely keep your scraper and a knife handy because you might have to cut around things as you're going again get a ladder don't try a step stool if you're short and watch as many videos as you can i really wish i had some help getting the seams to line up and doing the panels that kind of overlap and by the ceiling i'm also short at 5'1 so i definitely needed a ladder i tried to do it with a step stool and I just couldn't i couldn't get up there so if you're short definitely have a ladder handy or you need to call a tall friend by the time this video is up there should also be a blog post to my final reveal on this space. Check the link in the description box below to read that. And also check out my full laundry room makeover video that shows us going through the whole process. I'll leave that link below too. And if you want to see more like behind the scenes tutorials and photos of the whole process going on as well, go to my Instagram and click the one room challenge bubble and it's all saved there for you. I really want to thank Woblush for collaborating with me on this project and they were kind enough to give you guys a discount. So use my code for 10% off your purchase and I'll leave it in the description box below with a link as well. Let me know if you guys end up going with Woblush or if you are doing a pill and stick wallpaper in your room, tag me on Instagram. I would seriously love to see what you guys do. I love doing this stuff and it makes me so happy to see what you guys do too. Bye.